Hey guys, welcome back. Yvonne Blasquez here, certified exercise physiologist, competitive natural bodybuilder and triathlete. And today, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the importance of our daily step count and, and as it pertains to actually fat burning. There's some interesting research that has actually shown that the inhibitory effect of not getting enough steps could actually have more of an influence on our ability to perhaps lose weight or some other health parameters such as uh, our triglyceride levels, uh, keeping them at a healthy normal range, it can have more of an impact than the actual exercise itself. And this is actually a concept that's been uh, termed as ex exercise resistance. And we're going to get into something also about the 10,000 steps recommendation, right? It seems a little daunting, and I think it was a, a well-intended recommendation that unfortunately is kind of a high, uh, a high you know, point for a lot to reach. So first, let's get into what the sedentary index is. So anything less than 5,000 steps is actually classified as a sedentary lifestyle. Now, do we have to hit 10,000 steps a day to get a lot of steps? Not necessarily. Research has actually shown that anything over 5,000 is considered uh, sufficient in terms of getting steps. In other words, low active, right? Optimal would be over 7,500 steps. So if we want to really simplify this, the new 10,000 steps is really 7,500 steps a day. Now, if you're getting over 5,000, so if you're getting 5,001 to say 7,499, then at least we're not sedentary. So. What's interesting about the study, though, in terms of the exercise resistance, was they found that one hour of moderate running um, was the benefits, the metabolic benefits, whether it be the the, the cholesterol benefits as well as the uh, metabolism benefits via fat loss, were actually inhibited by taking less than 5,000 steps a day. But they were actually uh, supported by taking 8,500 steps a day. Now, one of the limitations of the paper, they acknowledged that they didn't look at uh, say 7,500 steps or or 6,500 steps, right? So future research will really need to kind of, um, you know, kind of sift through this. Uh, but by and large, if we're walking more than 5,000 steps a day, then you are accomplishing uh, a lot in terms of not being sedentary. And even if we're relatively speaking, if somebody's walking, let's say, 3,000 steps a day, even going from 3,000 to 4,000 actually has benefit, as one other study has actually shown. Uh, it was a study, I believe, in, um, in uh, older age women where taking more steps, there was an improvement in just in terms of overall health and mortality risk uh, from all-cause diseases. So let me just wrap this up by saying that getting our daily steps is is, is a very important factor when it comes to fat loss. I've actually been tracking my steps because we always hear that it's good to park further to get more steps or uh, you know take the stairs and so forth. But if you have something that's actually, if it's actually counting towards something, right? Now we're stepping not just a step, but we're actually making steps uh, towards a target. I, th I think it's really effective in terms of motivating us and kind of also accountability, right? So we have a goal. So by the end of the day, if you're hitting, uh, you know, 6,000 steps or 5,500, maybe on a day where maybe you didn't quite have the opportunities or, but at least you're getting over 5,000 so we're not sedentary. And in theory, we could actually be uh, augmenting some of the, our workouts. So one of the ways to actually boost the fat, lo fat burning effect of our training is by making sure we're getting uh, sufficient steps on a daily basis. And that would be anything 5,001 or more, 7,500 or more is even better. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. I just wanted to make a quick video kind of touching on some of the practical um, application of some of the latest research in this field in terms of uh, metabolism, weight management, body composition, and health. So with that, I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it, uh, if you found it helpful, uh, insightful, and uh, thank you for watching. Tune in next time.